Wildlife Diaries gives the viewers a glimpse of the various patients the Wildlife Center of Silicon Valley works with on a regular basis. All staff and volunteers have undergone training to work with various animals. Please do not try to care for an injured wild animal yourself. Take it to your nearest wildlife rehabilitator. Wildlife Diaries, Episode 5, The Trapped Gopher. This barn owl chick was brought to the center after it fell out of its nest. Baby birds haven't developed enough feathers and can't keep themselves warm. Hence, they are kept in an incubator, which helps to regulate their temperature. The staff will stabilize it and then try to reunite it with its family. I'm going to bring his body, his legs, towards you. So just make sure, um, here, if you support that. An adult bobcat who was hit by a car is lying on the examination table. Adult predatory mammals are sometimes sedated to allow the staff to assess its injuries without being attacked. The hospital manager, Ashley Kinney, concludes that the right posterior femur has fractured on impact along with several other external injuries. She applies a compressive bandage to stabilize the injury. Later, Dr. Chad Alves assesses the situation. He then sutures the external wounds and takes the bobcat for a radiograph. A gopher was caught in a mechanical trap, which was intended for some other type of rodent. Mechanical traps are inhumane, and there are humane methods to deter rodents from trespassing on your property. The staff removes the trap and then clean the superficial wounds. Gopher that was pinched and caught in a trap. It was kind of a pinch trap type thing, and the skin was caught in it. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the trap. There it is. The number of orphaned babies admitted to the center rises sharply as the spring season begins. Over here, the staff examined two orphaned house sparrow siblings. The staff delicately weigh each of the siblings. This is important so they can be given fluids and food as per their physical capacity to digest it. 12.2 and 11.1. .1. A western pond turtle who was brought to the center after it was attacked by a house pet has now been rehabilitated and determined fit to be released back to the wild. It is taken across the stream from where it can swim away. Releases are very rewarding for everyone at the center, since it's a testament of the several hours of dedication and hard work that are put in, giving the animal a second chance at life. Visit us at WCSV.org to see how you can help us in protecting our wildlife. Donate, volunteer, or simply share the word.